everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do this really um, quick, easy, everyday makeup. The eyes I absolutely love. And warning, if you see people walking in the background, that is because my friends are here and they didn't really know that I was filming a video. So yeah, so this is the eyes and I love this eye look. It's so, so pretty. And then the lips are just like these coily red um, colored lips. And then the cheeks are just like these natural looking cheeks. And I also did do a hair tutorial on this bun. If you want to go and check that out, that will be posted either before this or after this. So I don't know, but it will be definitely be posted. And yeah, so that's how you do it. And actually, no, that's not how you do it because I'm going to be showing you how to do it right now. So I do not want to make this intro really long. And yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start with my tinted moisturizer. Actually, no, my moisturizer. This is the Take a Deep Breath by Philosophy Moisturizer. And I'm just going to get a little piece size amount of that and dab that all over my face, um, making sure that it reaches every part of my face. Because you do not want little parts that are not moisturized. So yeah, just do that. And now we want to primer face, so I'm using this little baby tiny Smashbox sort of finish. Um, primer and I'm just going to get a little tiny piece size of that also and just apply that all over my face and I'm kind of dabbing that just because it feels so cool on my on my face like it's amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and now we're going to be using some tinted moisturizer in this one that I made myself. I know it's kind of gross but it works really good so I'm just going to get some of this on my hand like that and then blend it around so it's kind of like um so kind of like you don't waste product um and yeah so just blend it around like that and then i'm going to take this little tiny spongy and start dabbing this all over my face i'm not blending yet just because i'm dabbing first and that's how i roll so i'm just going to dab this all over my face making sure that it gets every little part because i do not want to look weird if i don't have like foundation on one part or tender moisturizer on one Why part sorry and then i'm going to just blend it in like so, dooby dooby doo -ba. And I'm making sure that I blend in every little piece and using the little pointy side to get my under eye area. If you're wondering where this sponge is from, it is from Avon. Um, and yeah, so, just let you know. <laughs> okay, so just keep blending, keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. Now I'm going to take the rest that's on my hand with an elf powder brush and just place that on my jawline. Now I've already started, oh no, never mind, never mind, I'm jumping ahead of the game. I'm going to take my translucent powder by NYC and putting this all over my face. Then I've already started by priming my eyes with the elf's eye lip primer. And now I'm going to take this homemade DIY pressed shadow that I made. Um, you can also use Urban Decay Sin if you have that because that's what I was trying to go for. And just this little flat shader brush and apply this all only on my lid, not in my crease because you don't want it to be in your face, only in the lid. So just go ahead and do that. If you're wondering where this brush is from, this is from My Glam. I'm going to take this Too Faced bronzer, it's a little sample so I use it for eyeshadow, in chocolate salad which smells like chocolate and it's kind of broken so yeah sorry about that but I'm going to be taking this crease brush by Avon and just taking that and putting that into my crease and it's going to give us some definition but without darkening up the look a little bit because you still want it to be kind of like that really pretty shimmery look but you still want it to be kind of like, you know, everyday-ish, and you don't want it to be, like, too hard. So I know there's, like, some, like, harsh lines there, but we're going to blend that out at the end. So just repeat the same step to the other eye. And I'm also going to drag the eyeshadow down, kind of making a V shape. 
And now we're going to blend out the harsh lines with a crease, like a fluffy crease brush, and just blend that out nice and easy so you don't have any harsh lines. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take that eyeshadow again, the sin color or the shadow that you made, and just put that on your lid because you probably have lost some color by putting the crease color in. So just reapply that just to make sure that it is still there. And I'm going to take this really, really sparkly color. It's like a white shimmery color. And with that, um, my glam brush, that eyeshadow brush, just putting that in the inner corner. And I know it looks really, really scary right now, but we are going to blend that out. Please don't yell at me. Okay, so just, yep, do that. And now we're just going to blend that out with our finger so it doesn't look like a ghost. And also taking that, putting it a little bit below our eye, just to kind of give that illusion that we're kind of like all glowy and like angels and stuff. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, we're also going to blend that out so we don't look too crazy. And then I'm going to be taking that translucent powder that I had before and just taking a little bit of that on my finger. And just placing that underneath my brow bone and just give me a little bit of a highlight. I don't really like shimmery highlights under my brow bone, only in my inner corners. So that's why I'm taking this translucent powder. It's just going to brighten up the area. So yeah. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff like on my desk. That's why I'm kind of reaching for everything. So yeah, so that's the whole eye look. And... Now for our cheeks, so I'm taking this Love and Beauty palette, which is extremely dirty because I use it all the time, taking the blush part, and just taking this Avon blush brush, which I am obsessed with. I'm actually playing with it right now because it's so soft. Um, yeah, I'm going to be putting that on my cheeks, and yeah, basically how you would normally put your blush on. And then taking the bronzer side, just gonna bronze up my cheekbones. And I know it looks really scary right now, but we're going to blend that out with another brush later. So yeah. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. powder brush again and just blend it out. It's gonna be like our best friend brush today because we keep using it to blending out things. And take that blush brush again and just take bronzer and place it on our hairline and I know my hair is looking like afro poof right now but that's because I just got out of the pool and I had this bun in my hair so now I'm going to try to fix my hair but it didn't really work out because yeah just I kind of make it I kind of just made it like look really really ugly by doing that so don't blame me but I fixed that at the end so yeah so now for the lips I'm going to be taking this red lipstick which is actually not that red it's kind of corally you actually put it on so I'm going to be taking that and putting that on my lips I got it in my tooth And then taking this little e.l.f. luscious liquid lipstick and baby lips, kind of like a nude pink color, we're going to be taking that and applying that right over the red. going to be blending that out with my finger and yeah there's me fixing my hair should I do the bang look no I should not okay I'm just gonna fix it up make it all crazy and that's the whole look and oh my gosh I just realized I forgot my mascara so I'm gonna put that on I completely forgot the mascara. I just realized that. So 
that is the whole look. I hope you like it. It was really fun for me to film, and I'll see you next time. Bye.